y'all. Thank you so much for tuning into Carol's Daily Sauce. I'm just coming on here just to show you all a quick, quick, quick breakdown of me taking all of my makeup off. I filmed this and then I found out I had no sound. So you see my mouth moving and all of that good stuff. I'm also talking about my hair and how my hair is growing out. I actually did some twisties and so uh, the twist, that's why the hair is all over the place. I've been pulling it and playing in it and everything. But what we are going to talk about today is removing our makeup, removing our eyelash glue. I actually have a latex allergy and have developed blepharitis, inflammation of my eyelids as a result of wearing my eyelashes. I don't know if it came on due to the type of glue I used that had latex in it or if I should have went and taken extra precautions at keeping my eyelashes clean. Now, the one thing I want you all to know is I'm a clean woman, but sometimes we find out things um, actually through trial and error. So this right here is Dickerson's um, cleansing wipes. So they remove makeup, they cleanse your face. They are made with 99% witch hazel. Witch hazel, is an old school astringent. I live by it. I wish I could have gotten it bigger. I get three packs of those on sale at Amazon, I believe, for like $14.99. And if you know, like I know, which hazel is not very expensive. I got it really close because I wanted to show you all my eyeball with blepharitis. You lose your eyelashes, okay? Sometimes, some people do. And you also get the real red puffiness along your eyelid and so that's what I was trying to show you all um wow look at my forehead my forehead looks really really big but this has been a thorn in my side you all it really really has because blepharitis is very 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 uncomfortable it's very itchy your eyelids can swell sometimes you have problems with your vision all of this for wanting to wear eyelashes now and that's eyelashes, eyelash extensions, whether it be strips or individuals, because I actually wear both. And as a result of it, I don't know what happened. What we have to remember is what I'm saying here in the video is that our eyelashes are hair, just like the hair on our head. If we don't keep the hair on our head clean, same goes for our eyelashes. We are not supposed to wear strip eyelashes overnight or a couple of days. If you look on the back of the packet, it does tell you that. I have the hardest time understanding that. And if somebody could come in the comments and let me know, I'm showing the wipes again. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. But what I do is I wash my face and remove all of my makeup with those wipes. I put great emphasis along the lines of my eyelids to remove any and all glue. I will tell you now, the glue that I use does not have any latex in it. I made darn well sure. What I found is when I started taking extra, extra care as far as wiping all of the makeup off my face and doing it in a process, I didn't have the swelling of my eyelids. That right there is a shampoo. It is called by Organics and it is a mint and tea tree shampoo. It also has witch hazel in it. I literally wash my eyelids, my eyelashes with this. Now some people might say mint. Yep, if you open your eyes, it's going to burn your eyes. But it is the one thing that I found will keep my eyelids from keeping the icky icky sticky glue on it. This right here, those are the cotton circles, like cotton balls. You can use cotton balls, cotton circles, dip cotton disc, and you put a little pea size amount of the shampoo on the disc. Now me, I use one disc for the right and one for the left. I don't contaminate anything. And I go in a motion of left to right, very gently removing the debris, dirt, mascara, glue, any type of eye makeup or anything that may be on your eyes 
so that you can get your eyes to the cleanest actually they can be. Now, I showed you all again the cotton disc. What I do after I do that, after I get those good and clean, I take and I wash my eyes off. Then I take those orange discs. Those orange discs are found at the dollar store. You can get them in pineapple or lemon. They don't have a scent, but it just has that. It looks like a pineapple. It looks like a, um, a uh, cucumber or a lime. That that I just showed you was Vaseline. And it is a Vaseline that I picked up from Walmart for 50 cents. They had those. I think they had five. I picked up all of them. And it's called a healing jelly. And it's got uh, like a really light baby scent. Because of the crusty, dry, itchy experience that I have with my eyelids from the reaction from the glue, I take and I put that. Okay, why that stopped? I don't know. But anyway, I take and put it along the eyelid. And I put it along the eyelid so that, the, that you wash the eyelid with the tea tree mint shampoo by Organics. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to include these pictures of the items so you'll know exactly what it is. Lord Jesus, so you'll know exactly what it is that you need. The process is very, very easy. Hopefully you all understand this. If in fact you look at this video and you are more confused about what I am trying to tell you about as far as um, cleaning the glue and stuff from the eyelashes off of your eyelids as not to develop an allergic reaction or a condition such as blepharitis, please put it in the comments and tell me, Carol, you need to do that video over because guess what, boo? We were unable to get it because this has been a hard video. It is only what? Seven minutes and it's all cut up and choppy and crazy. But anyway, thank you all so much for tuning in. As I said, I will include pictures. There should be pictures um, that will show you all of the products toward the end of the video. You all have a blessed evening. Bye bye. What you need to be using I want you all to know, please, 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 I came here one time before on my channel. You have to take care of your eyelash.